Okay, roll call please. Planning and development, June 20th. Miss Andrus. Mr. Gwaltney. Here. Mr. Wolverton. Here. Mr. Sims. Here. And Miss Nelms. Here. We have a call. All right, this time I'll entertain a motion to dispense the reading and approve of the minutes from the Planning and Development Committee meeting on June 6th. Motion. Second, Councilor Wolverton. Second, by Councilor Sims. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. The motion carries four to zero. There are no items under old business. Moving to new business, 060622, request to consider amending the city's zoning ordinance to include the fence ordinance. Councilors Andrus and Director Smith. Motion. Thank you. Um, so this got emailed a couple of times last weekend today. And uh, I guess just an overall view of it. Um, it's, it's more comprehensive than it was. We included sections, um, we have like a general regulation section, and then we broke out um, regulations for fences and walls in detached dwellings and in attached dwellings, commercial, institutional, manufacturing, and plant districts. Um, so that's just kind of how it's laid out. Does anybody have any questions about this? We also changed some definitions of corner lots to help us uh, in general, we have we have some cases coming to BZA that are that are pretty obvious, but our current definition of corner lots um, doesn't allow for us to approve them administratively. I had one question. It's right. sitting on my desk at home with my marked copy. So do you remember I it? Don't remember what it was. <laughs> I read it the minute you sent it. I, the, the, the latest version I've not looked at. The, it's the same. It's the same version. The same version I sent. Yes. Last week, Melody said. Today. Okay. Uh, anybody else in the committee? That was my question. I didn't know if the if the two versions they're the same. Okay. Because yeah. it would need to be the same because yeah, they're, it, it they're came the same. through planning commission already. Right. Um, no, I don't have any further questions. Okay. All right. If there are no other questions, what's the will of the committee? There are motion. I motion to. Uh, all right, we have a motion by Councilor Nims. So we're going to have to send this out and set a public hearing. It's already set. It's already set for July 11th. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, the public hearing is set for July 11th. Well, it's not set I didn't think so. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the item below it. My bad. Yeah. I was. Yeah. 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 We have to set it. It needs to be set. advertised for the They are. I jumped ahead of myself. Sure. Putting probes is a fence. Yeah. 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 Or 36. So currently the ordinance says natural fences placed in any front yard shall be maintained at a height that does not exceed three feet. And then the definition of natural fence is a vegetative barrier formed by a dense row of shrubs or trees intended to separate two pieces of land. Mark the boundary of a lot to provide privacy and security. So the plan is not a so we have one comment from them. If you will step in here and sign in, your name and address.
Thank you, sir. Yep. I'm a landscaper, and what you do is require people to keep them trimmed, if that's what you want. I live on the street where some of the uh, bushes are as tall as I am, and some of them are as tall as this table, the ones that border the street. And um, a new company has bought it, and they've sent people to trim the things, and so I'm hoping it'll get more consistent. Thanks. Okay, thank you. All right, any other thoughts, comments? I'm sorry to go back to this. So was the was answer from Mr. Kendrick is that we don't need a public hearing for this? Is that what no, you have to. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, that's what I was thinking, but I, I misunderstood what you said. Okay. So then. It's not set for tonight. It's not set yet. It needs to be yeah. set. So do we send it out to set a public hearing? Or, I mean, should we keep it here for further discussion? And, and set the public yeah. hearing at council? Well, I wouldn't set the public hearing until you're ready. I mean, if y'all, it's up to y'all if you're ready. Okay. But if you want to discuss it more, there, I would wait to set the public hearing so we don't run into a situation where, yeah, you know, a publication issue. So yeah. if y'all are ready to send it out, then send it out to set the public hearing. But if you're not ready and want to discuss it some more and carry it over, I would say just hold off on the public hearing. I personally think, well, I, I hear what Mr. Kendrick is telling us that it's unenforceable. However, I do like the inclusion of it from the other side of the other hand because I can see it being an avenue for going around a traditional fence to plant a vegetative fence between two properties. And I personally would not want a vegetative fence between on my property line, especially if it protruded beyond the front wall of the house. Um, but I can see some situations where it could be beneficial, so it's kind of a guess point too. But what was your thoughts on including it? Um, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's been, it was there. We tried to clean it up as best we could. Uh, it's not in the corner. It had lived in there before, though, right? Yes, Greg, call up and pull it forward. Okay. There, there to double check that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that that's. Not your suspicions why I probably didn't get updated. Right. The first is not here anymore. <laughs> um, all right. What's the will? Of the and, and, so every time we talk about front yard fences and shrubs, they, they always kind of. It, it always sounded to me like people interpreted or, or heard that. Vegetative front yard fences were not out. But whether whether it's good or bad, otherwise we just tried to clean it, clean that up. But if they're not, if they're not included. Okay. So we currently, technically, we should be discussing this because we currently have a motion for that second. Correct. Okay. Is there a second? No second. Second. There's a second by Councilor Wolverton. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Well, I was just going to say that I think I'm at the point where I'd like to talk it through for two more weeks um, before sending it out. But that's that's just my take on it. That's why I wasn't seconding. Okay. That's um, I think some of that discussion can occur um, as needed between Kale and other folks. Mr. Smith and others. So we have a motion and a second. At this time, we'll move for a vote. All those in favor, please stand up by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Did y'all vote? No, I did not. All those in favor, please stand up by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. <laughs> would the, Still need to vote. Would this end of the table like to vote? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Was that an aye? Yes. Yes. So the motion carries four to zero, and I think we can continue discussions as needed um, to make sure everybody's on in good terms with what's process flowing through, and, and we can refer it back from council if we need to. We'll have time because I think that's a it's more than two weeks, right? After the next one, uh, for uh, advertising. Uh, well, good advertising. Twenty-one. Once a week, two weeks, and once a week, two days. Gotcha. So Okay. All right, thank you.
All right, moving on to 070622, public hearing set for July 11th, 20, 2022 at 6 p.m. Uh, for consideration to rezone 2738 18th Street South from C4 Central Businesses from C4A Retail Shopping. Uh, the applicant is LMS Wilkerson Enterprises, uh, and I will not belabor everyone to read the rest of it. Uh, Kale Smith. Again, Mr. I didn't know that Jennifer wasn't going to be here. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, so this is um, the old Nado property. Nado rhymes with Play Doh, I remember right. that. <laughs> Hearing over there. Um, this is on the this is on the corner of Twenty Seventh Court and Eighteenth Street, and you'll see here on the right side of the page that those improvements that are shown are from the Eighteenth Street design. So, basically, what we've done to the NATO, I'm calling it the NATO property, is we've cut them off from their parking in front of their building, by because we've added curb and gutter and pedestrian path and added back parking spaces in front of it. Um, they're proposing to go from C4 to C4A. That's what the properties along 18th Street or the front 18th Street are zoned. Um, so that makes sense. C4A doesn't require any parking also. Ben, ben Watson is the civil engineer for the project and he can answer any questions. <coughs> All right, Goody. That's true. It's for one story. That's a two-story. It's, it's one story in a loft. But There's a mezzanine level. Okay. Hey, Captain, we already know what's going on. Yeah. They they've said out loud. I don't. I don't. Wait. The lease has not been signed, but. I will say it is a local Homewood store that is moving down the street. Let me phrase it that way. Um, very low traffic, very okay. um, walkable, walkable friendly development. It's not anything that's high traffic. So obviously conducive to what? <coughs> exactly. Um, what's already been redone. Yes. Okay. And, and they're about to, <coughs> excuse me, take that one step further. The, the plan is to completely redo the perimeter, the outside of the building. Um, and some of the inside, but it's going to make the building look completely different. As you can see from the sketch, <laughs> the existing asphalt parking lot to the north of that building, which has been, like I said, completely cut off because of the curb and sidewalk, um, that will turn into a hardscape feature, whether it be um, a patio. It will be a patio and or astroturf to allow um, outdoor usage. Okay. But so, as you can see from the plan, we're trying to remove probably half the asphalt on the site okay. um, and put back every parking space we can fit um, to allow, because the vehicle, the only vehicle traffic now will be from 27. So that is kind of pegged to what we can actually use the property for. So this was just to clean it up, two-fold one, to, to clarify the parking ratio, and two, again, everything, well, add to the north is C4A, and everything on 18th Street to the south is C4A. So we are surrounded by C4A. Um, this is kind of an outlier for 18th Street. So this was just kind of to make it uniform with the, the, the surround. And this is technically two stories also? Yeah, it is. Technically? I, I, I haven't seen the floor plans for that. I think, I think some days it's two, some days it's one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Questions? I will add that prior to the 18th Street project starting, we did meet with the previous owners, which I believe is part of the family. The property has transacted since then to another owner that I think is part of the family, but we did meet with uh, Ralph and the family that owned it to explain the situation. And the 18th Street project was met with a positive recommendation for them the impact it would have on their business. So just, just to clarify that. Um, the will of the committee. Is there a motion? Send it out with a recommendation for the public hearing. I have a motion from Councilor Wolverton. A second from <coughs> Councilor Nelms. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Four to zero. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And with that, pilot landing and development is adjourned.